All right, guys, welcome back to the second video. Um, once again, my name is Matthew. Welcome to my channel. Uh, we are going to tackle radio button. Uh, what does a radio button need? Well, it, this one we're going to complete only has four major components, a label, an image, a Boolean, and a tab gesture. That's all we're going to use. So I did start a, uh, I did create a, um, a demo page for radio button in case you missed uh, the last one uh, the last video this is what we're going to do uh, here's the complete version you click on option one option two automatically becomes um, deselected click you select option two the reverse happens to option one so here we go uh, on the demo um, uh, here's what we're going to do Okay, first we are going to create a, a radio button. And our radio button is, for now, we're going to work completely on, um, completely in code behind. Okay? So we are creating a new file, and um, we're going to call it radio button. That's it. Just that simple. And we're going to inherit from uh, Xamarin form. And our radio button is going to inherit from a stack layer. What does it need? In the beginning, we said we needed a label. An image. A boolean so an image a label a boolean and a tap gesture so for now let us start with the label but before we start with the label let us um, let us uh, configure the actual uh, container itself, the container which is the, the radio button. So here's what, it's, what we're going to do. We're going to give, uh, we're going to give it a height, a height of about 30. And we're going to say horizontal, let's stop this, horizontal layout. Option is layout options fill and center and then our um, radio button is going to have an orientation of horizontal okay so this is what we have for now um, let us create the label we're going to say label is equal to new label we're going to say that text we're going to set it to for now we're going to set it to text goes here that's it doesn't have to be fancy okay and text color for now we are going to say color that white um i may decide to do a a an extended version of this video where you can customize um there's little details like uh, the, the, the text color or the font size or the font or whatever you want to do. Um, I haven't decided yet, but it is quite possible to do this. Um, for, the, for the label, we want the, we want the vertical option to be, we want it fill and expand. Okay, let us copy and paste this one. I'm going to say horizontal, same same thing for the horizontal options. But most important, vertical text alignment is going to be text alignment that center. We want, we want our, uh, our text to be centered, uh, vertically centered on our control. Now that we've completed with, uh, we've, we've actually uh, created the label itself, 
what we're going to do is we're going to add it as a child as a child to our radio button and that's it okay now if we if we want to go and, and and look at how it's going to look like we can go now to our actually to our demo page okay and we can say um, radio button radio button uh, and then we just close it that's it okay so um, we created uh, partially created our uh, radio button and all we've done so far is we have added a label to it everything is done in code behind and then when we go to our demo page in XAML all we're doing is we are um, creating an instance we are consuming our radio button we're not adding anything extra we're just consuming um, and this is what it looks like okay text goes here the same exact text that I added here in code behind this is what we see okay uh, thank you for watching this is the end of this video on the next video we are actually going to start working on the image itself we're gonna apply the images um, on the uh, we're going to work on the images. So uh, thank you for watching, guys. If you like what you see, please uh, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, so you're up to date whenever I drop a new video. Thank you for watching. My name is Matthew. You have a good day.